We had a lovely Easter. Uh, today's story that I'm going to read for you is called Scaredy Cat Splat. And it's by Rob Scott. Enjoy it. Mum! cried Splat. There's a scary spider on my table. He's small and hairy with really funny eyes. Splat's voice came from the kitchen. You're small and hairy with really funny eyes. Splat thought for a moment. I haven't got eight legs, he said. If you had, maybe you'd be a scary spider too. Splat made a scary spider. Splat's mum sighed at him. Splat looked closely at the spider. It didn't look so scary now that it was trapped. Can I take the spider to school for Halloween? asked the mum. The evil made pumpkin heads and everyone is dressing up in costumes. And Mrs Wimpy Dimple wanted to tell a ghost story. There was a prize for the scariest cat and now I want to be the scariest cat. So please can I take the spider to school? Please, he added with a twinkle in his eye. Okay, said the mum. What's your Halloween costume? asked the mum. Splat pulled on his pumpkin head and sat astride it. Aha! Look at me! I'm a scary witch's cat, cried Splat, racing around the classroom. You certainly are scary. Then disaster struck. Splat tripped over his tail and with a crack his broom came out. His scary witch's cat costume. Oh, I've got nothing to wear, Splat said, even Seymour looking at him. Splat's mum was fearful. She stuffed some old socks with scrunched up newspaper and tied them to Splat with string. There, she said. Splat looked in the mirror and squeaked. Oh, I scared myself, he said. He looked again and then sighed. Look at me, he cried sock leg. I'm a big scary sock spider. Splat placed his pumpkin spider on the wagon and set off for school. On his way he met Spider and his mum, Hank dressed as a skeleton. They're pretty scary, said Splat. Seymour nodded and trembled in his boots. I'm scarier, said Splat. Splat made his scariest spider face. Growled. Spike and Plank didn't even blink. Instead, <laughs> cried Spike. <laughs> cried Plank. Splat yelped and jumped high in the air. Ah, oh, Splat sighed. Spike and Plank are both scarier than me. Seymour nodded and trembled. Never win the prize for scariest cat, said Splat. Sock Spider, the skeleton, won in Halloween school. In class, everyone showed their pumpkin heads. Splat's pumpkin made everyone laugh. Oh, Splat sighed. I'll never win the prize for scariest cat. Seymour. Everyone placed torches in their pumpkins, and Mrs. Wimpy Dimple turned down the lights and whispered one of the best ghost story books. In a very dark, dark wood, there's a dark, dark cat. In a dark, dark wood, there's a dark, dark tree. In a dark, dark wood, there's a dark cat. In a dark, dark cat, there's a dark cat. Ghost! Mrs. Wimpy class jumped with fright. Splat was so startled, his tail whipped around and sent his pumpkin spinning through the air. And what goes up must come down. Splat! Unable to see anything, Splat stumbled around the classroom. Everyone shrieked as the pumpkin head glared at them and made strange noises. 
This is when people used to stand on the nights and lifted up the wayward country. The shrieking turned to laughter as splat fell on it. Calm down, calm down, said Peter with dignity. Now, class, who should win the prize for being the scariest cat? Splat! They all cheered. And that's the end. Thank you. Hope you've all enjoyed watching it. If you want a little challenge, can you retell this story to your adults or anyone else in your house? And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye.